It's been great to be able to convene here in person and come together and connect with people across the industry. And we're really excited about what's coming next year with the new infrastructure bill. There's so much opportunity for us to really drive the, the mission that we have of a smarter, greener, cleaner, and more equitable, equitable transportation system. At the federal level of working with the administration, with the USDOT and others to implement the new bill is important. There are elements in the bill that are directly related to intelligent transportation, and we want to make sure that it's implemented properly and uh, that the other uh, resources are allocated in ways that advance uh, the technology you know, in service to the community. The big thing for our chapters this next year is going to be training and education, especially related to the IIJA. We're going to try and get more information out from ITS America, out to all of our state chapters related to grants and funding and projects, as well as what the newest technology uh, are going to be related to electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, uh, connected vehicles, and what we're going to be doing with our state chapters is we're actually encourage them as much as possible to submit abstracts, to make plans for attendance, to budget for attendance at World Congress. We really want a big showing. So we'll have a, uh, a state chapters uh, meeting at the World Congress, but we're also going to try and plan a time when we can actually get together with our uh, friends from Ertico and from Asia Pacific actually talk about how they govern some of their meetings and do some of their chapter work as well. One of the great things about the World Congress is the ability to bring together so many different parts of our ecosystem. So we have leaders of public sector agencies across different levels of government. We have the private sector, we have academia, lots of different entities who play different roles. And it's that level of collaboration that is really important for us to be able to address a lot of these challenges. So that's what I'm most excited about. From an ITS World Congress standpoint, a key focus is the Emerging Leaders Program. One element is at the university level, globally. We do a global challenge that involves teams from various universities around the world that are put forward a challenge question to address that will actually excite them and kind of get their juices flowing and thinking innovatively and creatively about providing solutions to a diverse uh, sector of users of transportation networks. The second one is actually digging into that high school level. So we engage our high schoolers in a challenge too, and that's something that will be done nationally throughout the United States. The third leg of the stool really is how do we have an impact on the local community when we're there in Los Angeles? So how do we get young people from the metropolitan area uh, around Los Angeles engaged and excited about what's to come in transportation and provide them with that opportunity? So as the program is developed, as it's implemented, those are all things that we think about in energizing our young people, letting them know that there are great opportunities in this field.